hi guys welcome to code bashers so guys in this particular video i will be discussing today's latest cap gemini coding questions so two coding questions i will be discussing in this particular video both these coding questions were asked today only that is on 10th december 2024 so guys make sure that you are watching this video till the end because there will be two benefits first benefit will be that you will be getting to know that what type of questions are getting asked in the cap gemini exam and also in the middle part of the video i will also be telling you about the from where you can prepare for the cap gemini i have i have a cap gemini exam preparation material specific for 2025 batch students i will be telling more about that in the middle of the video so make sure that you're watching this video till the end to get the knowledge okay so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel okay and before moving ahead do join this telegram group this telegram group is dedicated for 2025 batch students okay so do join it so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit that like button okay so guys the first question here is the first coding question is move all hash to the front of the string so here the problem statement is write a function to accept a string and move all the hash characters to the front while keeping the other characters in their relative position Constraints will be the length of the string will be from 1 to till 100. The string will contain only alphabets and hash values. Okay, so let's just see with the help of an example. So you can see here it is a normal string which contain hash values also. Now we have to move all the hash values to the front of the string. Okay, to the front of the string. So keeping the remaining values as it is. See, move is as it is, hash is as it is, 2 is hash is as it is, front is also as it is all the hash three hash has been placed at the front of the string so this is what we have to do so you will be given a normal string and we just have to bring all the hash towards the front of it okay now let's just quickly see the approach of this question it's very simple so approach will be so let's suppose if we have a uh, let this one move hash or on front let me just copy paste this particular string okay now see so <coughs> okay so now what we will do we will make a new string so this is our input string str okay this is our input string str we will make a new string where it will be initially empty so answer equal to empty okay so now see what will be happening so whenever we will be iterating over the string word by word okay word not word by word character by character so whenever the current character is not hash we will simply add it to the answer variable listen to me carefully that if the current character let's suppose starting with m it is not hash then add it in the answer variable so we here it is m then we move into next character o it is again not hash so it will be o here then v then e and then hash is coming so currently we will ignore hash whenever we are placing new character into the new string we will ignore the hash value then there is h then there is a then there is s then there is h then again hash is coming we will be ignoring that hash then t is there then o is there then hash is again there we will be ignoring that hash then f will be there r o and t now see we have moved all the characters in the new string and we have ignored all the hashes now what is the length of this string what is the length of this string so what is the length of this string it is 4 plus 1 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so 18 is the length of this string what is the length of this string the length of this string is 15 so how many characters are different in str and the answer string so there are total three characters which are different which are not present in the answer variable since while iterating over str we have excluded hash therefore those hash are missing here so now we know that there are total three hashes that are missing so what we'll do we'll simply add those three hashes in the front of this particular string now this is our correct answer if you can see here this is our correct answer so i hope now the approach is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the code of this particular question and the things will become more clear okay <coughs> so first question so string str here it is written then we are taking input of str then we are making a new string answer that is initially empty okay then we are iterating over the str that is the input string we are iterating over it now if the current current character is not hash if it is not hash then we are simply adding it into the new string okay answer plus equal to str of i when the current character is not equivalent to hash this is as simple as that now once this for loop is over we have a new answer string 
and we have the input string okay we have the new answer string and we have the new input string now we will check what are the character differences between the input string and the new string by this we will be checking the that the difference now how uh, now the difference will be if let's suppose the difference was 3 so we will add 3 hashes towards the starting of the answer variable so answer equal to hash plus answer so yeah so we are adding this hash in the front of the already answer variable okay how many times different amount of times so see here now what we'll do we will let's see with the help of example so move hash hash this is the input string and all the hashes should be in the front of the string okay let's just see so yeah your output is hash hash move so that is all the hashes has come in the front of the string i hope this thing is clear to you okay so yeah i hope this question is clear to you now let's just move towards the second question but before moving ahead two things if you have not hit that like and subscribe button till now please do it and do join the Sairam group also it is dedicated for 2025 best students now i was talking uh, in the starting of the video i will i was talking about the cap gemini exam preparation material okay which you can use for preparing for your cap gemini exam currently cap gemini hiring is going on okay in some colleges exams are happening in some colleges interviews are happening so in this particular cap gemini exam preparation material what you will be getting you will be getting total four sections okay first section will be cap gemini technical mcqs in which some uh, dsl goes mcq questions are asked then you will be getting cap gemini pseudo codes okay in technical mcqs 140 plus previous year question and answers are there in cap gemini pseudo codes also previous year 140 plus question and answers are there cap gemini coding questions 90 plus questions are there with answers okay proper question description example input sample output proper answers are also there then there is a essay writing session also in cap gemini in which 50 plus topics are there so all these sections will contain the questions which are previously asked in the cap gemini exam okay and these are all in a well structured pdfs okay so if you are preparing for your cap gemini exam then this particular preparation material can be very much beneficial for you and it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 so if i will show you if i will show you the sample of this uh, let me show you the sample of this so see we have given proper questions we have given proper options we have given proper answers for it okay it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 okay it is affordable the access is for lifetime and if you are having your cap gemini exam in coming days then this particular material can be very much beneficial for you if you are interested the links are in the description box as well as in the print comment so guys now let's move towards the second question of this video okay now the second question is count frequency of array elements okay this is again a very simple question given an array of integers count the frequency of each unique element and print the result each unique element and print the result now array elements can range from minus thousand to thousand and the number of number of uh, length of array can be from one to hundred input is an integer n followed by an integer n of the array okay frequency of each unique element in the format element occurs x time let's just see with the help of example so see here <clears throat> so the this is the 10 is the n that is how many uh, array elements are there and then there are 10 array elements now we will maintain a frequency of each and every element and we will print it like this that one is has occurred three times two has occurred two times three has occurred two times four has occurred two times and five has occurred one time so basically an array will be given to us we have to find the frequency of each element and print it like this okay I hope this thing is clear to you. Now, the approach is very simple. Let's just quickly see with the help of an approach. If we have, let's suppose we have an input array of small size 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3. But we will do, we will maintain a hash map that will contain key as the unique value in the array and value as the number of times that value has occurred in the array. Okay. Now, see, key is 1. First, we are iterating over this way, this value. So key is one, value is also one because it is occurring first time, so count is one. Then key is again one, value will be two. Okay, value will be two. So key is one, value will be two. Okay, this is the count of one. Then next element is two. So two is not in the hash map currently. So two we have given the value and currently the count of that value, uh, count of that two is one only. Then there is two again. 
so count will be two here okay count will be two here because two is coming two times next three is coming and count will be one okay so i hope now this thing is clear to you so you can see that key is a unique element and value is that how many times that key has occurred now we can simply iterate over this hash map and we can print that okay one occurs two times two occurs two times and three occurs one time this is how we can print it let's just quickly see with the help of the code the things will become more clear to you if you are finding this video useful please hit that like and subscribe button if you have not done it till now okay now we have taken n as input size of the array then the elements of the array as input then we are doing hash map okay that will store the frequency of these arrays so for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus okay so m um, uh, so here we are filling the values of unique elements inside the array inside the hash map so if the value will be unique here you will simply do plus plus by default the value is 0 so it will become 1 if already existing value is coming here inside this hash map then we are doing plus plus then the value will become 2 or 3 or so on then we will be iterating over the hash map okay we will be iterating over this hash map so then we can print in the format that okay the x dot first x dot first is a key occurs x dot second times okay x dot second means the count and then the this times okay so let's just see with the help of the with the help of this okay let's just run it so six triple one triple two so let's just run it so one occurs three times two occurs three times so two occurs three times one also occurs three times so this is how we have to print it inside the in the capgemini exam so i hope now this question is also clear to you if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section because the hiring is going on okay tech mahindra hiring also starting so i will be posting videos for that also but make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and make sure to join the telegram group and i have already told you about the capgemini exam preparation material if you are interested the links are in the description box you can check them out okay the cost is very minimal of rupees 99 okay this particular product will definitely help you in preparing for your capgemini exam because all the questions we discussed here have been previously asked in the capgemini questions are also there and answers are also there i have already shown you that if you are interested the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment thank you for watching this video more such videos i will be uploading on this channel